chicas, Senorita Petrini here with your day one of your six week Spanish lessons that you're going to be teaching down at the elementary center. Uh, the purpose of this video is to help you feel comfortable with what you're going to be teaching and with the ways that you're going to be teaching, okay? So it's easy to look at the paper and to read through it, but to see it to come to life might make you feel a little bit more comfortable. And so that's why I'm creating these videos for you. Um, so first, what are you going to need for your day one? You'll have this PowerPoint, okay, and that's going to guide you through the presentation, okay? You're going to have your lesson plans, and on the lesson plans, it'll tell you when to switch the slides on the PowerPoint, okay? You're going to have name cards for all of the students. So you'll have these, it's going to look like this, name cards, and you'll cut them out, and then the students can write their own names on them. They'll fold them in half like this. And they'll have the name card with me llamo on their desk. This way you can be more personal with them. And you're going to tell their teacher to hang on to these for the remainder of the weeks and make sure they're on their desk. This way if you, you have problems remembering the 22 or 20 kids in the classroom, you'll know their names because it'll be on their desk. And they won't even actually notice that you're using the name card on the desk. Um, you will need to have these number cut cutouts, they're going to be learning the numbers, all right, and you'll prepare these for the students. It's going to look like this. You can print them out on color paper or white paper. I'm going to grab some color paper for us this weekend, and you're going to cut these out and have them prepared for the students because if not, it could literally take them like a half hour to cut them out on their own. We know how long it takes us to cut out the flashcards, right? Okay, um, you are going to also have for them a worksheet that will, you will give them at the end. So if there's extra time, they can do that in class. So you don't have to worry about time. If not, you can say that it's a homework assignment that they could do for you next week. And then you're also going to have a printout. This is from the PowerPoint of the numbers that you can just flip through if you want to. You'll have that with you. All right, so you'll start off just going through, introduce yourself to them. Before you even start speaking them to, to them in Spanish, you're just going to tell them who you are, where you're from, what grade you're in, even if you like, what you like to do. They're going to appreciate getting to know you. All right, and then you're going to get into letting them know the objectives. You won't say objectives. So what we're going to learn today is we're going to learn how to say hello and goodbye in Spanish. You're going to learn how to say my name is and ask someone what their name is. And you're going to be able to count to 10 in Spanish. Okay, now here you might say, does anybody know how to say hello in Spanish? And that could be your segue into your next slide. All right. So you can start off then by introducing yourself in Spanish. Hola, me llamo Señorita Perturini. Hola, me llamo Alisa. Hola, me llamo Sierra. Okay, and then you're going to ask the students, what do you think hola means? And some of them might know, some of them might actually speak Spanish, so let make sure they raise their hands and then call on somebody. You won't have their name cards out yet, that'll be when we learn that part next, okay? Call on somebody and get the answer, okay? So then just with hola, you say, all right, everybody say hola. Hola, and you could go around and have them say hola, say hola, hola. Go up to the students and say hola, hola, hola. You could probably spend a minute just saying hola, and they'll find it humorous, okay? The whole point is for you guys to enjoy yourselves. They are not judging you in any way, shape, or form, and nor are they really judging themselves at that age, so they'll be able to do silly things with you, which is really fun, all right? So you got the hola. And then you're going to focus on the, get that to go there, me llamo, all right? So you'll say, hola, me llamo Senorita Petrini, hola, me llamo Brianna. You'll say your name again, all right? And then say, what do you think me llamo is? And someone will get the answer. And then you can have, if you want, everybody stand up, all right? And say, all right, everyone's going to say what their name is. And so you'll go around, and this is before you know their names yet, so you're just starting to get to know everybody, and you can walk up to them. I don't want to step out of the frame here. Um, but you'll go up to them and say, Me llamo Alisa, y tú? And have everyone say their name. And once they say their name, they can sit down. It's always good to have them up and down. It keeps them interested and whatnot. 
Um, and so then, once they've all said their name, you can go ahead and give them these cards. And you could, if you want to bring attention to the fact, me llamo, two L's in Spanish makes a Y sound, and that they're going to write their name on the line and put that on the desk for you, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to teach them how to ask someone their name. All right, so you have como te llamas is next. All right, and so you can model this with one another. If by chance you ended up alone on that first day, you can actually say, como te llamas? Me llamo and change your voice or something like that, but you'll have one another. So como te llamas? And then me llamo. All right, ask them what they think como te llamas is. All right, so you kind of get the idea here, You're just flowing through the slides. Um, and then you can do a little activity here with como te llamas, me llamo. Once again, have everybody stand up. And then you guys could go out there and say, como te llamas. When someone says, como te llamas, you respond with your name, me llamo. It might take them a little while to get it. So you're always going to help them. All right, another thing that might happen, just so you guys know, is the students might think that they're going to know something and raise their hand, but then when you call on them, they have no idea. Um, just to encourage them, that's okay, we'll get you next time, or something like that. Don't ever make them, you know, don't ever wait too long because they might feel a little awkward. All right, so just move on to the next person that raised their hands. Um, and then get up and go around and ask them the question Como te llamas? Me llamo, como te llamas? And then you can have, if you go through this, I have all of these as points under each in the lesson plan that you're working from. And then you can have them ask one another. All right, so you have them practice saying, como te llamas? So everybody say, como te llamas? Como te llamas? All right, and then you'll respond. So this will be up on the board for them to use it. And you're going to then have them just practice with a few neighbors, tell them. Say, ask one of your neighbors, or if we come, you ask us. And so then encourage them, tell, ask me home the yamas. All right, so you can actually spend a good 10, I'd say maybe seven to 10 minutes on just this, hola, me llamo, y como te llamas, okay? And so you, another, another thing you want to incorporate is some encouragement, all right, positive feedback. Excelente, muy bien. You get a lot of that from me, so you're you're pretty used to that. So, and they appreciate hearing that, any kind of encouragement smile. And if you want to insert in English as well, that's fine. So the next thing that they're going to, they're going to learn is their numbers. All right. And so what I would do is say, can anybody count to ten in Spanish? And some of them, half the class might already know. You might have some native speakers that already know. And so if you want to call on one person or two people to, to go ahead and count, you can do that. That'll be fine, too, even though you haven't taught it yet. All right? And so once you've done that, then you say, all right, everybody listen to us, and you count together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right? And then you're going to go through the slides so they can have a visual with the number and have them repeat after you. All right, everybody repeat after us. Uno, uno, dos, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro, okay? Now, if you want to go through those again, you can either go back on the PowerPoint, you can double up on the PowerPoint beforehand and have just press copy and paste those all again, or you can just go through these number cards again. Okay, if you, if you feel like you want to go through them individually again. So everybody, after me, uno, dos, see, tres, and of course you'll have each other to help one another out with that. All right, another thing we're going to do is that you want to break it down for them, okay? So, all right, repeat after me, let's do three numbers at a time. Uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Cuatro, cinco, seis. All right? And do this repeated, repeatedly in order for them to grasp and really start to get the concept so that they can do it on their own. All right? So once you have to six, then do uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. 
Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. So they're repeating after you, and you keep going with this until you really feel like the majority of the students have grasped it. All right, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, and then you'll have them repeating after you, and then they'll have the whole set where they can repeat the whole thing after you at once. All right, so we're gonna do this one time here, and let's see if you can repeat all 10 numbers without us, okay? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, Oh, excellent, we yet. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are quick learners. Excellent. All right. And then there's a song. There's a little sing song. It is always so helpful to add a song to anything. Um, and so basically that's what this is. Just adding a sing song to the numbers. And for those that learn in that way, that learn quickly, that are apt to learn musically, um, we have all of our eight intelligences. One of them is the music intelligence, right? that aspect. And so you can touch that by singing Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right? So you'll sing it for them, then you break it down for them. And this is if you're, if you're feeling it, all right? If it's taking a lot of time the other way, um, this lesson does not have to be followed step by step. Go with the flow, all right? If you don't feel like singing because you think they already know the numbers, you can introduce the song next time or not at all. The goal is for them to learn the numbers, ready? So song again, in case you guys don't know it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, and they'll like that. They'll get a kick out of that. So you might want to add that in. Then what we're going to do is you're going to have them practice with the number with these cards that you have pre-cut up for them. So you go ahead and pass them out. And as you're going around and passing them out, you say, Hola, me llamo Elisa, como te llamas? Just for a little reinforcement and have them get to know you a little better. This gives you an opportunity when you're going to pass these out to them to get to know the students and help them, tell them that they need to set these up on the desk and tell them to put them in order there. So they'll have, this is like the flashcards that we do, okay? It's very simple, but believe it or not, learning the numbers out of order is, it's actually hearing the numbers out of order is challenging sometimes. So then you're going to say to them, I'm going to call out a number. When I say the number, you hold up that number. All right, so you're going to start off, make it easy for them at first. Start with number one. Let's see. Hold up, numero uno. Everyone. All right, now one of you guys should have these set up somewhere where you're actually holding them up too, just in case somebody needs extra encouragement, okay? And then you go, how about numero dos? And you maybe even want to go through the whole sequence in order, okay? How about numero tres? Ah, excellent. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are so smart, see? How about numero cuatro? Numero cinco, all right? And then you're going to want to pull them out of order, all right? So numero ocho. And then it gets a little bit confusing because sometimes they're uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. All right, so they're going to have to think about it a little bit and they're going to need a little bit of encouragement and help and you're there to give that. Okay, um, numero cinco, where's numero cinco? So you can have fun with that, fun with that. Um, gauge how far, you know, you think it should go. When they start getting a little bored or you just start getting a little bored, then you can say, okay, everybody put those together and put the state, the, their paper clip back on there, all right? And then you'll collect those again and you hang on to them so that you have them for a resource in another class or we can even hang on to these for next year when we do this, okay? Um, and this way, if you have them, you can keep them in a sack, keep all of your stuff in like a, a backpack or whatever, and then you'll have them the next time you go down in case you want to use them again. All right, and so in the meantime, you only have a half hour. Uh, potentially, these classes could last 45 minutes, but the end of the school day is 3 o'clock, and so we only have this half hour. So you're going to want to look at your time, watch your time as you're going through this, all right? And that could determine when you end a certain act activity to make sure that you have enough time. You want to spend at least 15 minutes on the numbers, at least half of the class on the numbers. You're going to want to do that. After that, um, I would ask to close up, say, who thinks they can count to 10 on their own? And then you'll get some volunteers, all right? Maybe too many volunteers to take all of them. All right, so then call on one or two people. All right, let's see if all the girls that are, all the boys that are this half of the room, and then that half of the room. 
and you can continue with that a little bit more. All right, um, and you're gonna look at your time again, like I said, and this is a worksheet you'll print it out uh, front to back. You can pass that out if you have, if you have five, ten minutes, if you have ten minutes left, say at this point, you can have them get started on the one side, on the first side. Everybody points to numero uno, dos, and have them go through like that. And on this side, they'll practice writing out the numbers. So if you have time, they can work on that with you. And if you don't have time, tell them it's a homework assignment and their teacher can work on it with them. All right. Um, then you're going to have a little bit of closure at the end. You want to make sure that you save at least, I'd say, three minutes, maybe five minutes at the end. And this is going to be kind of just as you feel as well. Um, so what do I have in here? In yours, I have your closure as, who remembers how to say hello in Spanish? And some raises their hand, hello, and everyone say ors. I say hello, hola, and everyone say hola, hola, hola. All right, girls say hola, hola, boys say hola, 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 see? All right, who remembers how to say, what's your name? Oh, this is a tough one. Who remembers, um, como te llamas, como te llamas, okay? And you'll go through that, and then my name is, all right, everybody tell me your name one last time. Me llamo, me llamo, tell your neighbor your name, me llamo, me llamo. You want to make it quick to just kind of refresh their memory of everything that you taught them today. All right, and then you'll go on to the numbers. All right, let's count to 10 one more time. Um, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Now you guys, let's hear the girls, boys. Like I said, depending on time, you could spend a whole five minutes doing this, or you could spend two minutes. Okay, it's just a brief closure activity so they remember everything that they've learned. All right, and then the last thing that we're going to teach them, we'll go down to the very last slide, which is... Adios! You can stand up there and wave them adios. So this is the last thing we want to teach you today. Adios! What do you think adios means? All right, then you tell them what it means, and then have everyone practice saying adios, and then thank them. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you guys next week. And that's it. We facio, no? All right, so you guys are going to do an amazing job with this. And of course, if you have any questions, you know where I am. But really, the whole the whole idea with this is for you to have a lot of fun. You're going to get so much from it. Do not stress about it in any way, shape, or form. And if you do something totally different than what this lesson plan says, that's fine too. This is your class. This is your opportunity to share something that you've learned with these little kids, and they're going to love you for it. And I love you for it. Thank you so much. All right. Adios.